Hello everyone, Darren here, and welcome back to Anno 1800. Now, in the last episode, I'd continued working on the Artista residences in the New World to provide them with beer and also some of the more obscure lifestyle requirements they have, such as lanterns. Now, surprisingly, the beer actually took most of my time, and we had just gotten started work on the lanterns themselves, with a lot of the industry already kind of now in position. We still have to feed it the base tier of goods, which is going to be beeswax, so let's get into it here in Mbesa. So, I had just transferred a couple of items over. We've got a bunch of propellers again. I actually bought them from Old Nate because I was in the process of just getting that fortunate that we talked about in the previous episode saying that we needed it for... In fact, we could probably make a couple of them, can't we? Uh, we needed it for the trade union that we were working on. So, we can get two. Oh, I'm actually out of room. That's a shame. <laughs> I didn't really think about it. Do we have another ship that can take this? Or is that the ship? That's it. All right, we've only got the one here. Um, hmm, didn't think about this. Why do we only have one ship in this theater? I don't know. All right, tell you what, let's just go back up. I don't want to waste any materials. We'll drop some stuff, well, not right now anyway, so I do often. But we'll just drop some of this stuff back up here. We'll get an airship to kind of maybe go and intercept these items and bring them down. This guy is nice and fast, so we'll get him to go that way. Should have had that prepared. My bad. Usually do. All right, off you go. So... The Fortunate is going to be used in this trade union here. I've cleaned this area up just ever so slightly because it was really messy. My brain was broken when I was first initially doing it, and then it all became clear right after. So it's uh, using the space a little bit better right now. So Angela Meg, Ivor, the polyvalent, is kind of a temporary item just in there. She's reducing workforce by 20%, which is fine, but I'll probably use that for the Fortunate, get that 35% buff for the Chandlers or Chandlers. And then these guys are going to be like, maybe we could even get rid of one, potentially. So we'll see how that all goes. So that's kind of the plan there. Now, we can still work on while we're waiting in the background for that other stuff to happen. We have one island here, Bird's Eye, and this is where we have our apiaries giving us beeswax. Um, we could equip them with tractor barns, I guess. But I don't think I want to do that. I'm just trying to say, where is the fuel depot? Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, it does reach down, actually. Someone thought about this in the past. Ah, oh, you know what? Do it. Do it. If you got one fuel depot yeah, and it's got space, do we have what we need? We need steam motors. Oh my god, my preparation's out the window in this one today. Steam motors. All right. Not a problem. We'll get them to come over as well. So here we are in Lusk. Hi. We have our extravaganza... No, it's the Great Eastern, not extravaganza steamer. And you can go grab a bunch of these and some steel while you're at it. And we'll see you on the other side. So we'll send this one down to Mbesa. Just head to Bird's Eye. See you soon. Toot toot. <laughs> hey, we hit a billion again. Nice. Money is through the roof. Population is looking fairly stable, I would say. Little fluctuations, but we'll get on top of that soon. Now, why did I click the New World? I have no idea. But let's have a look at what's going on here anyway. Lifestyle needs. Yes, they have their billiard tables and their souvenirs at the same time. Love to see it. So this is what we're ultimately trying to get ahead of, the lanterns. And the buildings for those are basically in place now. Let's have a look at what else is needed while we're here in Mbesa. We could just do a little two-for-one action, see what we, the elders need. So they need lanterns as well, so that's good. Oh, be quiet. Don't worry about the Caduce Anatoni uh, Monastery. So they're actually getting orchid. They're not getting any herbs. Now... Let's have a look at why that is. Orchid. Mbesa to the New World. Importing goods. Bum, bum, bum. Interesting. Just pause for a second. Let's see how much their demand for orchid is and see if I'm overdoing it. It's five tons per minute. Five tons per minute. And then if we check the storage of this place, are we selected on Tabarine? We are indeed. I uh, don't know if we can do this, but maybe we can. Maybe we can. There we go, there's the trade route right there. So it's one minute to... Ooh, that's a long route. We're looking at 20 minutes back and forth. Uh, so 20 times 5, right? So we are shipping 100, so it actually... That's pretty much a, the where it should be, I think. If we're delivering 100 every time, we're consuming 5 tons per minute. It takes 20 minutes to get back and forth. Bada bing, bada boom. It's 100 for each slot. So let's check some of the other things that's on the ship just to see. Otherwise, we'll just have to make a new ship do the same thing. Ponchos. Let's have a look at ponchos on the production side of things and see what its consumption level is. Whoops. Pon... Oh my god. Poncho. There we go. It's also five. Oh my god. Maybe I did actually look at this ahead of time. No. Hot sauce doesn't need to have two slots. 
So just for sake of argument, we will grab this and we will... Oh. You're taking up a slot that you don't need to be. All right, we'll just leave that empty. And I'll put a question mark on the end of this if I can. Because then when I search question marks, I know that I've got an empty slot. It's been working pretty well for me. So we'll leave it like that. Let it resume its route and hit accept. Just in case we want to put something else on this in a moment, we can do that. Now, the thing that we needed to see was like herbs, herbs, sewing machines, goose feathers, soap. Let's see if we see anything that's less than five per minute if it's coming from the new world. Um, so we'll type in herbs. I guess we'll just leave it like this. Herbs, so that's seven, so that actually needs maybe three slots. I might actually write that down because these are the things I definitely forget. So three slots for herbs. So what's, the, where else are we, uh, what other theaters do we have to think about? So we have Lusk, Old World. So that's, that's a quicker route generally. So that's sewing machines. Cotton fabric will come from there as well. So will soap and so will goose feathers really. It's not gonna come directly from the Arctic. We have some in Lusk. So these, these four can all come on one ship if we could manage it. Um, so let's see what their rates are. So soap is gonna be the first one. Soap, beautiful, one per minute, love it. 1 p.m. So I'm just writing that down for soap. Actually, I should write soap. Okay, that's totally fine. Uh, so it was cotton fabric, which is going to be a fat six per minute. It was goose feathers, which I'm guessing is going to be one. Yeah. And your boy Darren has forgotten. That's as good as he could get. So let's see. Sewing machines. Oh, they'll be using those a lot too. All right, so two, one, one, and six. We could maybe fit this on one ship. I think one ship could have two slots for the six tons per minute, and then the other, maybe even three slots, and then the other three things can go on one. Yeah, maybe that would sort it out. All right, let's try that. So we'll make a new route, trade route, old world. Select Lusk, where we have all these things already. I'm fairly confident. We could check that in a moment. And then we'll select Embesa, Tabarine, directly to <laughs> uh, Emperor Katima himself. Now we'll go to ourselves, of course. Uh, so didn't actually write down what these were because I'm a silly boy but we'll start with soap because I know that was one so that's soap one the next thing is going to be sewing machines which I believe was two tons per minute but that's basically the same thing then we had goose feathers which is this and then what was <laughs> my why is my memory so tragic what was the one that was six per minute don't know didn't write down the name so let me see oh cotton fabric okay I don't feel so bad about forgetting that. <laughs> All right. Cotton fabric. And uh, hopefully just popping that on three slots is, is fine. You could maybe get rid of one. I'd need to see the journey time. I don't really know the journey time for a full ship going between Lusk and... Let's see, the Castilla 2 maybe. We'll just have a look and see what is your journey time for canned food here. So storage, canned food, click. So a... Uh, yeah, it looks like it's about 10 minutes, so it's totally, totally fine. Yep, about 10 or 11 minutes, so I'm overdoing it, really. Maybe we could only have, we only need maybe two slots, then, using cotton fabric. Leave this free, maybe. Get a little wild. Uh, so, we'll call this... Embesa to Old World, so it's an import. Life... And then we'll just leave a little question mark, just in case we need to put more cotton on it, then fair be it, so be it. If not, no worries. Unload all these, we'll grab a ship. Might want to equip a ship first with some items and then we'll send it. Perhaps that'd be a good idea. So we'll just do that. Let's head back over to Old World. Well, find a ship well, that's suitable. Ready. So we've got maybe, yeah, just one of these. Just give him a propeller, that's fine. You don't need anything too crazy. The argument for, Team is knee. All right. How thrilling! A renowned personage has arrived. Oh, it's thrilling, all right. All right. Now we just have to look for Katima's knee. Um, there it is. All right. So we're picking up soap, sewing machines, goose feathers, and two lots of cotton fabric. We'll need one more ship route. Can you remember what it was? It was herbs. I actually did remember it. Now, we could go straight from the New World. I do have categories for that kind of thing. New World to... And base it to New World. 
Tef and scripts is offline for some reason. Hmm. I don't really remember why I was doing that, but I guess I don't want to get too distracted. We'll just sort out these guys while we're here. So, Tef, eliminate. Yeah, I think a full ship because it was. Let's. I need to check it again, just the amount really quickly. So, herbs. Here, a tabarim. Seven per minute. So, it needs three slots on a ship if it's coming from the New World. Got it. Okay, so New World, Trade Route, Manola, Old World. Nope, um, sorry, Embasa. Tabby, and we're gonna load up. Ooh, that could take cotton fabric as well. Now you're getting interesting. Yes, let's do that actually. So cotton fabric can come from there. I forgot it does go. It is primarily made out there. Uh, and let's also load. <coughs> excuse me. So three lots of that would make sense because it was six per minute. Herbs are gonna be seven per minute, wasn't it? One or the other. It was. If I've gotten those mixed up. So three slots each for both. Totally makes sense to me. Slap one of these bad boys on it, and we're good to go. We'll just call it the New World to Embesa. It is an import. And unload all of that, please. Now, before I put a ship on it, I just want to fi find the one with the question mark I just made. I love the because we can take that off. They help me a lot. Pause that ship. Hit accept. Go back in, click the ship, the throw it overboard, <laughs> and then resume it. So now we've got three free slots on that ship to do something with. And the other one is just going to take it straight from the new world. I think that'll work out better. Wow, 530,000 income right now. Feeling damn good about that. Should we brighten up the day? It was midnight when I clicked that. What were the chances of that? All right. We'll have it back soon enough. How many hours do we have in this, by the way? 371. That's nothing. Nothing. Double that for the amount of time I put in behind the scenes to this game for, for this series. I was just curious what was going on with Benti there on the map. Some people say it's not Benti, it's Benth. Which uh, I don't agree with, so how about that? <laughs> Alright. So we need to assign that a ship, right? We haven't given it a ship yet. Life 2. Okay. Oh, yeah. So I need to go and give it a ship. So we want it to be a world-class reefer because it's going to be traveling between places quite a long, quite a lot. So again, just a random standard propeller I think is fine. That's tempted to give it the double propeller, the even improved one, but I think it's okay. I'm, I'm saving those for ones that I'm really struggling with. So it's almost like one tier upgrade. So I start them off with one of these, and if not, then we go a little harder on it. All right, the King Cole 2. Let's go. And you know what? We can just call that import life as well because it's coming from a different theater anyway, so. Godspeed. All right, so that was all background stuff, but that should have, I think, pretty much delivered a lot more of the elders for us. If you want to keep track of it, we'll just say that we have 2,004 elders at the moment. And we'll just see how much it goes up to by the end of the episode or a little bit later. So they're going to get their lanterns, which is going to give them three per household. Soap is going to be two per household. Elders, three. Uh, sorry, for herbs. Three for that, two for that, and two for that. So two for goose feathers, two for sewing machines, and two for cotton fabric. Um, very last thing, I guess. I'm pretty confident that we have enough of all this stuff, but just because it's always been active, you know. So cotton fabric, just hit all islands. Yeah, we're good. Uh, goose. Barely, but we are okay. Herbs. Yep. We just need that island to empty out. Sometimes it does get backed up. And soap. Similar sort of situation here where some of it stops. And that's because it's on Malahide, the kind of more self-sufficient island. Um, so, Old World. You are supposed to pick it up from Malahide. Oh, you're being told to drop it off there. Well, that's a bit silly, isn't it? So, well, it's not really. You make soap there, that's fine. But just drop it off and then pick it back up. Which, I guess that could be, you know, it adds a little bit of time, I suppose, to the route. But whatever, it picks it up and then it should try to drop it back. Some of this will start getting taken away more now. Uh, when these ships start to arrive and pull it down for Imbesa. Now, in Imbesa, thinking about it, I don't know if we have elders anywhere else. This island, I think, just had... Oh, it does. Ah, that's see, that makes things so annoying. <laughs> does not complain of hardship. 
they have all the same lifestyle needs. So in theory, you know, we'll have to get one ship that just kind of goes around, hits any island with elders. But we could do that at a later point. We don't need to do that right now. Uh, so just one local ship here in this theater. Anyways, uh, good news. Nope, not good news. I was hiding the icons. I thought they had their stuff. That wouldn't make any sense. Though. Why would they have that? We haven't given them beeswax yet. All right, so beeswax. The way we do that is we grab the ship that's waiting for us at bird's eye that we set up at the beginning. Fear the dark. Oh, because they don't have lanterns. Could that be why? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Well, it's, it's good to see that we're seeing the newspaper literally talk about the problems we're solving because it means that we're narrowing down the remaining issues. All right. Or it's just total coincidence, I guess. Bum, 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 bum. All right, so we've delivered our steam motors, which means now we can finally build these. Um, so let's uh, create a little space, shall we? It's dry and dusty. It's dry. There's not much water nearby. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, not even a That's stream. Right. That's just because I shifted it over. All right, what is the hotkey? Hold an alt to place it on proper soil. Oh wow, yeah, this goes, this goes deep, deep in around the back here. So I guess if you wanted to be a bit more efficient with it, maybe just a little bit, we could um, try to just scurry along the edge and make use of the back first. That way, if we add more in the future, you know, we don't have to try and build a road around it. So I'll just scurry around the back if I can a little bit. I know it's going to look a little weird, but I, I anticipate it will be filled out. We do need to add maybe one other one. Can we go any further? I think that's okay. And we just work our way up, I think. It's 288, so it is a lot, actually. Uh, modules. <clears throat> okay, there we go. So that farm is connected all the way around like that. But at least, you know, like I said, if we need to add in more, then it should be fine. And we can always irrigate a little more. I think we've got... Oh, yeah. We've got, like, 200 modules of potential irrigation that we could bring down this way and fill up this place too. So I need to be, yeah, I guess a bit more diligent with this. All right. This will just make use of this area then. 288. Okay, I know it's really weird, but it will be improved. I guarantee it. Even if I don't need it, I would fill in just so it looks better. <laughs> um, so you are absolutely full of beeswax, which is great to see. So this is the island that would actually need to get some stuff from these guys. It's not. It would be nice to bring a ship over, deliver the livestock, and then take the other stuff away. But you'd have to throw stuff overboard, so I won't be doing that. Unless we always had it as one slot. Would that be all right? How many slots are there for lifestyle? Quite a lot. Yeah, forget it. All right. Um, so let me just search beeswax and just see, is there a dedicated route for that already? In basic old world. So we're taking beeswax out from Tabarine, but there's none in there. So some of our recipes are actually going to run dry if they haven't already back in swords. Um, all right. We'll just make this new route then. Create route, trade route from bird's eye to Tabarine. And just load up with some beeswax, maybe three lots. I'd say even two, honestly, would be enough. And then we could do something else with it if it needs it. This place should be already exporting. In fact, let me just check one other thing. Birds. Eye. Right? So these are all the trade routes coming out of here. And then the ones just specifically in Embasa. So we're taking away spices and indigo. But it's such a small route. Why not just throw the beeswax on there? You know? Do we really consume that much that quickly? Be nice to know. God, it is a bit of a slow ship, though, I must admit. But you give this ship a propeller and a loader, 
I think we'd be laughing <laughs> going between these places. The oil is actually waiting there. It's just interesting to see. I never really noticed that before. Yeah, I reckon I'll give this a propeller and an exporter. And then we'll see if we can get away with just sticking it on the one ship. I know we don't need to, but it's just a fun thing to try and do. So let's do it. So I'd say... Let's just start uh, reset the ship a little bit. Just transfer everything in if you can. Just throw it overboard. It's whatever. Okay, so you did great. Okay, beeswax. Okay, you're taking all the exports out of this place. And you're so close to it, it just feels it feels intuitive to me that this must be the right way to do it. Um, so, now, there's two things on my mind. We had a small airship going somewhere, which I've forgotten, <laughs> which, what, what, whatever it was doing. I assume it was going back here to get something, the items or something like that. Oh, I remember. It was going to get the fortunate from here. Well, yeah, yeah. All right, so you got your fortunate... Whatever, just transfer it in then. You can grab it as well. You only have two slots, so grab both. Why not? And then come with me. Hold the crane. Right. And because you've got everything you need already, go make two more. Now, back out in the old world. <clears throat> there was something I wanted to do here, which I'm also kind of vaguely forgetting. It's hard to juggle all these things in my head. So I was in Invesa, we were looking at the beeswax. Oh yeah, we wanted the items for the ships. The good thing is I brought one of them at least with me already. So that's good. So I just need to bring exporter of goods, the item for that. So do we have an airship here? We actually don't. An airship would be nice and fast. I've got airships in the Arctic just chilling, no pun intended. And there's two here. So you take that scrap. Transfer it in. So that's 43 new scrap I went and sourced. Let's head back to Mbesa. Uh, nope. We want to go to the old world. Go to Lusk. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that's where my exporter of goods is. So you're going to go south into Lusk in the old world. Fetch me the exporter of goods, which makes loading and unloading faster as an item. Another ship is on the way now down to... Oh, no. A ship is already there in Mbesa with the propeller on it waiting. What is taking you so long, by the way? That ship is waiting to use the oil. It's on a local oil route. And then there's a ship using it right now. Distributing oil. You're told to wait to unload. This might be the end of the route or something. That might be why. So it literally waits until it has nothing left. Hmm. Well, that's weird. Because we've only got one thing. I can see what I was thinking. It's like, okay, yeah, you want to, like, dump... Pardon the language, but you want to dump a full load into this place, and then this ship will kind of take it away and distribute it. But I guess actually this ship is full too, so this must be working. It just seems a bit inefficient, but whatever. I guess we'll just leave it. All right, is that other ship coming back anytime Hi. soon? Where are you? There you are. It's got its beeswax. It's taking a damn long time though. So let's just speed up. We'll drop this thing over. The fortunate is on the way as well, so we'll be able to throw that into the equation in a moment not that it matters we're faking the productivity anyway by boosting it so we sort of have that effect <clears throat> all right wow that does take a long time well at least movement speed and cargo slowdown will be improved with this there you go a purple controllable pitch propeller super good oh yeah the mines from this was awesome i don't know if people remember this i still remember it it was like a last minute the the bar was going down at bird's eye it was under siege arthur was there and i came in with some airships and dropped some sea mines and blew up his ships it was awesome <laughs> shout out to episode i'd say 10 100 101 102 that must have been around there where it happened it's cool the mines still exist today just in case he ever comes back oh i've got an exporter of goods right here yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> just transfer it over, just so I can put this to bed. Cargo stations. Although the airship is going to be here soon, I think. Uh, don't know if we need a, a fortunate there. I know it. Oh, I keep calling it a fortunate. It's a human incarnate. Oh, I got the wrong thing. Oh, come on. God damn. 
<sighs> All right, we have to go make the other one. Sorry, I do need a fortunate, not this. It's okay because we do have the the productivity is there already. So, but you know, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. Okay, just go easy on me, for God's sakes. All right. All right. So back to here. We need to see what do you actually require for it, then, sir. Pickled eggs. Pickled eggs. 20 special scrap, or whatever the mid-tier scrap is. You need a little bit of chassis, and some steam motors, and some planks. Okay. Well, while we're here, let's just make the wrong item again. Okay, and I will see you later. We have everything we need. He provides the chassis, as people have many times over told me. So if you... One, you can just buy it straight off him. Same as the steam motor, so we're good there. We'll just go down with the wood. He has 10 wood, but we'll bring 10 ourselves or 20, and that'll be all fine. All right. <laughs> what a chaotic game. The later and later you go. What do you got for me? So you just have to... Yeah, we might as well drop them here. We might need them at some point, but don't know. I thought I had another ship on the way here, but I guess not. Alright, so these are operational now. You know, they have their beeswax. They have their cotton. I was checking in between episodes. We make just barely on the edge enough cotton. Um, there was a fire. That meant one of the farms was burned down. So it didn't count in the production when we looked at it last time. But it is there. So it should be okay. And if it's not, I'll catch it. Uh, glass would be interesting though. I feel like I've been piling more things onto glass without ever checking it. Ooh, it's at 120 under 120, but there is a pixel of difference. But we are fluctuating like wild on this one. So what's wrong? Crown Farm is not producing. Too much. Good problem to have, I guess. But it means you're not taking enough away quickly enough. So let's have a look. Cape to the Old World. There's three ships doing it. If you could believe. I will tell you to wait for those goods. Yeah, actually, it could be the case that you're in can't even unload it. Yeah, that could be the case. I'll leave it as is then. Who knows? We'll just let it all sort itself out. It's been sent to Embasid, so it should be fine. And if this has a problem, then we'll, we'll spot that and we'll set it up on a different ship. But for now, it seems like it'll be okay. That. My niece asked me to Feels like we need bigger storage here, though. For sure. I feel like I'm giving myself much um, wiggle room. a little extra storage see how that treats us 800 all right so anyway the whole point of this was to make ornate candles which now go in here and get made into lanterns which get provided back to the elders giving us more elders and then we also set up the there we go we're full up on lifestyle happiness i think we're good i think we accidentally just finished the elders as well basically except for not on the other islands just on this one um, so, we had 2,004 elders when we checked before, now we have 3,285, and it's gaining, because it's still growing probably since they just got their stuff. So there you go, That's a th we've just gained from delivering, setting up basically one trade route, maybe two, the lanterns and then obviously the lifestyle. I guess it was three trade routes. We've just delivered 1,350, or thereabouts, more elders. Pretty damn good. You could get rid of a lot of these guys then if you didn't want them because we have so much excess workforce now. But good problem to have, right? So we don't need that lady anymore. Hey, lady. 20% workforce. We can handle it. We candle it, some might say. Good night. All right. Anyway, we're waiting on that item. So we have to get it from your boy. Let's see if I can remember without looking. So, it was wood. Ten planks, please. And then, I want to say it was the mid-tier scrap. Don't remember the amount, so we'll just take what we need. Now, I might as well see if we can make a couple of these. So, I'll bring two. Uh, he needed... Was it filaments? No, it was steam motors, wasn't it? We can buy some from him. And it was something else that he sells that I don't remember. Oh, yeah, chassis. Boom. Something like that. Alright, throw this overboard. 
All right, we'll come back down. We have the scrap. I think we've got everything we need just to make a couple of fortunates. What we need to do then is send our little Calibri out to Cape Trelawney and pick it up. <laughs> All right. Very ominous, dark music right now. Anything could happen. Even though it's supposed to be super safe here. Um, how are we looking? Yeah, we're looking good. Production is flowing steadily. Lanterns are filling up. Right, so it's time we set up a new trade route. Delivering the lanterns. That's a really interesting thing I just noticed. Lantern, I think so anyway. Lanterns are not consumed in the old world at all. Is that true? Obviously is. No one seems to be using them. And it must be true for the Arctic also. Because there's no roots doing it. Yeah, weird. You'd think actually in the Arctic, lanterns would be useful. That would be a good one to have. Anyway. Alright, so. Embesa. What's the demand? I suppose we should check that. Neil demand. Neil diamond. Neil demand. Neil demand. Um... That's a Carl Pilkington reference, for those who know. Those who know, know. Um, lanterns, sorry. Lanterns, and then we have to just select the New World only. Got confused. Yeah, it's only four tons per minute. We already worked out the time it takes to get there, so two slots should be enough for something that takes four. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, two slots, please. We'll call this, uh, so it's an Embesa to New World. So it's an export. And it's got room for more. And we want to put a reefer on it, please. The Vernon 3, why the? Crap not. All right, so this ship is pulling out before it does. Give it a propeller. Only I'm reporting in. All right, off you go. Excellent. All right, 23,000 engineer workforce free and available. Good to see you. Love to see it. Let's see what's going on here. Are we fluctuating? We are. We're losing investors. What are you missing? Your mail. That's an okay one. I'm not sure why that's happening, obviously, because it's fucking mail. <laughs> I never know. So if we type mail, we have our overseas, regional, and world. So regional. It's coming from Crown Farms. It's dropping it in swords. And then it's just picking up a little bit in swords. And then dropping that in rush. So another island here. The reason for this was I found that Crown Farms wasn't supplying Should enough to, to swords on its own huh? for regional mail. The demand for regional mail is just very high in Crown Farms. So it's like, or, sorry, the demand for regional mail in Swords, my big capital island, is quite high. So high that even Crown Farms with all its mail couldn't supply it on its own. So I said, okay, this ship will come in, deliver its big batch from Crown Farms into Swords, and then it's going to go and pick up some more for Rush. And I thought, hey, while it's doing that, may as well just pick up a tiny bit and drop it over. And that way that's getting a little regional benefit too. So then we load up at Rush, we pick it all up, and we drop it back at Swords. And then we load right. up fully to then bring it to Crown Farms as regional mail. So they're exchanging regional mail between the two, and we're using an extra island as a supplement to that. And I guess it's just not enough. It seems to be the case that we're just on the edge of it not being enough. Because regional mail fills up to about, about 200, I think, when it gets delivered correctly. And then it's just a little slow. Um, to get that final amount. Ready to fly. Overseas mail coming in hot. 193. Yeah, so overseas mail is great. Ah, it just probably just needs needs either a, a small ship maybe doing the two the back and forth between these two islands. That might do it. I thought we could maybe bang it out with the trade route that we had, but uh, it seems not. Now, if I was to look at this, do you have anything on you? You do. You have all your items and accoutrements. Uh, it's not good enough, though, clearly. And you're traveling between sessions right now. God knows where it is. 
Oh yeah, the bug is gone where I can see things now again. A renowned personage has arrived. Yeah, I don't know where it is. I mean, it could only be between here and there, but un unless it just arrived in there. Which could be the case. And last time we saw it, it came straight over the mountain, actually, which is cool. No, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever, man. Male, I don't care. You know? <laughs> I just don't care. But at least they have it, you know? I'm happy to see that. Alright, anyways, back to Embesa. So, have we set a reserve on lanterns? We ought to, I, I would say. So maybe we'll set the reserve now as 50. Just so we always leave these guys a little bit. Alright, the there clear. you go. Skies are clear. So, back to Cape Trelawney. And our airship should be here. Wow, can you see that? Because I can't. Oh, there it is. It's up on the thing. <laughs> I can see the circle, but not the thing. Uh, so, I'm going to do a little transmuting. Nice. Okay. Bit for you, chunk for me. What am I missing? Not enough wood. Wood, please. I'll just have to wait for that. We'll just give it a little time and it'll build up more. Um, but we got one. That's all we really need for now. So let's grab this guy. Throw it up. Hoist it up. There we go. That was dangerous. Could have sold it when hovering over that thing. Anyway. Ready for order. Alright, we're off with speed. Back to Mbesa. What's our population at now? 232,000. What's the next milestone? 234. Okay. Getting close. Obviously, we, didn't, we gained 1,000 in Mbesa. The gains aren't as big. The lower down the population tier as we go. Which is to be expected. There is tea by the door if you want. Hmm. Interesting to see glass slowly falling because I do think now the scene is we're consuming more that it'll probably need more space on the route coming down here. I wonder does tobacco need to be that high coming down to Tabarine? Let's see if I can check that out. So, tobacco. It's eight tons per minute. What is glass? Seven. So they should really be even, this whatever they are. The question is, do we need three slots for tobacco if it's only eight? Eight tons per minute. If we check tobacco. Huh, that's strange. Oh, that's why. 14 minutes for the route. 14 minutes. Let me just break out my little calculator, and it was 8 tons, wasn't it? So, 14 times 8. You consume 112, so you need more than two slots. Unless we make this ship faster. Then we could get away with two slots, probably. It tends to be dropping off. Yeah, at that time it didn't, but it tends to drop off the right amount. Interesting. Okay. Let's chance it. Let's just chance it to make life a little easier on us. Where are you? You're coming in right now, which is good. So we're going to say pick up glass. Okay. You'll just need an item on your ship for sure. There's no way you're doing it without one. That little bit of speed going across the open ocean should be enough to make up the difference. So we'll just go here and we'll just manually transfer everything in. Now you can wait for a second. Bring this ship around. This ship is here now. The fortunate has been dropped off. We'll just stick it to daytime and leave it for a while. Alright, so the fortunate is in position. It means we can pop it in here. Bonk. And that means we can now turn off this. Bonk. And, if anything, we could maybe even get rid of one of these. So let's see how many lanterns we're producing now. 
nine. So just out of a as a quick test, turn off one. We had four buildings. It's now six over six. We have more than we need. Doesn't this building is no longer needed. It will not see you later. All right. Now with just three, let's see ornate candles if we're good on that. We're producing possibly eight. We're consuming six. For some reason, one of them is not operating. Just didn't have its stuff quite yet. Okay. Well, let's just do this to help it out in future. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> Smooth. Just give me a minute to put my. Nice. Okay, so you're closer to the uh, warehouses. All good. I... The ship will continue its route now in just a moment. I wanted to give it this propeller. Just get it going. Cargo stations. Off you go. Godspeed. I'm just returning this guy to Lusk. Alright, nice. Good stuff. Oh man. Busy, busy, busy. So, elders are basically done. Seems to be the case. I haven't fully checked it out top to bottom, but it does seem to be the case. The lanterns are on their way to the new world. The whole goal of this wasn't to focus on elders, it was to focus on the artistas, and their final piece was lanterns. Don't worry about building your tables, we do make enough, it's just a matter of some of it gets delivered to swords, some comes here. Once swords get full, then it will definitely come here, but it just it can go either way for a while. Yeah, they're only, excuse me, moving 12 at a time. Alright, I think that's it for these guys. That'll be lanterns. It should be that all set in stone. So let's have a look next. I feel Obreros. So Bombins. Bombins got low. If they shouldn't get low, it must have taken too many away from here. Let's set a limit. Because you make them here, don't you? Set a bigger limit than that. 300, I think. Just check where those are made. I do believe it's made here, but I could be wrong. Yep. Uh, so, we get them from the tailor's shop in Lusk, but we also make them locally here in Manola. Okay. So, yeah, that solves that. That shouldn't be taken away anymore, incorrectly. Lifestyle, then. So, happiness, everything seems good. Cigars we make right here. Beer we just sorted out earlier in the previous episode. Rum and all that's all good. This is totally all fine as well. Most of this stuff is actually made here. Luminar. Illuminated manuscript. So, Samba School, Beach, Scooters. Nailed it. All delivered here. Spectacles, done. Nailed it. Typewriters. I don't remember delivering them here, but we must have done I that. I owe my independence to the revolution. Yeah, apparently so. All right, cool. That's here already. Next one, Illuminated manuscript. So, again, focuses on Embesa. So, we'll head back down. So, let's have a look globally. All right, good to see that we already make enough globally. That's perfect. It's just a matter of setting it up on a trade route. So we hit that question mark button and we have a look. Are there any available slots on the routes that we have going to the new world? There are. Indeed, it's the lantern route that we just set up, in fact, that we can pop it on. So let's see how much the demand is for illuminated manuscripts in the new world alone. Bum, 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 bum. Love the music in this game. Two tons per minute. And what was it for lanterns? Four. All right. One slot's more than enough then. Okay. There you go. Still room for more, so we keep the question mark in place. So it might take us a little while to, for that ship to come back and forth again to actually pick these up, but looking good. Happy to see it. That was really easy. <laughs> All right, what next? What you got? Um, set the Breros, and we'll sort out the local routes later. I think just having the production rates globally correct is, is one step. Delivering them is the second step, but then delivering them locally is the third step, I think. Nice to work that way. So yeah, that was all your missing. So that's three extra Obreros. On this island, again, regional mail and stuff isn't set up just yet. 
All right, so we work our tier one tier down to the really chaotic in you, boss. Horneleros. So they need work clothes, which we saw was actually equipped on that ship, and they need Tef grass. So let's focus on the grass, just because we're dealing with Embesa. And it seems like work clothes and grass is all they're going to need before they're totally satiated. God, we're getting through, guys. We're getting damn close to the end now. If these guys, if they're all kind of getting what they need. Oh, what a journey. I think it was a really bad idea for the series doing this at the end because it, it has been very monotonous viewing, I think, in terms of just like buried in trade routes with not much visual variety for what we're actually building. But hey, I appreciate people who stuck with it this long. Um, I really do, so thank you. But I, I'm enjoying it. It's just like I know that there's been such little building and I've been trying to go through it just quickly to get everything in position, but... Hopefully we'll have that little payoff at the end of having nice amounts of time lapses. Uh, so Tef and Scripts, looks like it used to be a thing, a, a route that I obviously got rid of at one point. So we'll just get rid of it now. Not a big deal. Let's have a look at our global production of Tef grass. And see, could we throw it on that same route? Which would be really, really handy if we could. So we don't make nearly enough. Well, that's fine. So a Taverine, we're pulling in quite a bit of Tef. We could give it fertilizer, but I think we should utilize some of our other islands more. So, for instance, we have this one here. 300 workforce, 11 demand for elders. Now, if we just deliver them a few of the good... Oh, they don't even have finery, so there's lots of things to work on. So many beautiful languages and colorful garments. They need jam and grain. That's for another day. But yeah, what I'd like to do is we have 300 shepherds so you know just squeeze this place a little harder for some of the taff uh what are you guys making linseed oh yeah do we make teff anywhere else just already just out of curiosity no not really is this teff grass nope it's linseed as well so the only teff we make is down here what does that do fertilizer gives us another hundred percent doesn't it at least i think Nah, it's not really worth it. Because, um, yeah, we've, we've got the space. I'll just do it out this way. So, sorry, on this island. So we'll have to use the irrigation a little bit. So let's see what we got. Uh, not many modules left. And for some reason, silly old Darren didn't really leave room to pull this down further and do more with it, which is very stupid. Uh, so we'll have to do that. So we need to move these over at least one tile. So that's where they are, and we'll just shift there, and it's going to delete a bunch of stuff. Great. Let's get rid of that. So that's where it is. Shift it over. Yep. Okay, I'm just trying to work out where it should really come down. I suppose here. Not sure if I'm going to make use of that space in there, but we'll see. So how much more of this do we have? Another 100? Well, about 70. Okay. And we just need lots of... Basically, teff. Yeah. So that gives us room up here for another one as well. Uh, just don't want to cut myself off completely. That's a struggle. It does seem a bit wasteful to doing this, but I think I kind of have to. look a bit weird so there's no yeah there's no grass either side that we can actually use but we could use it in here and bring it down further if we wanted to come down to there but then it has to turn and come down further then it's in the way of a road we can move the road one tile out I'd be okay with that
Okay, so we've just irrigated a lot more there. Um, so hopefully we can kind of make decent use of this. Yeah, so that's where we run out. So that's the capacity, really. Okay, so let's try pop down some taff very quickly before we wrap up here. So it's going to be linseed. Yeah, so I guess one of the issues here would be this pocket, right? So in order to get rid of that, we can just bring the road along it, like so. And then we'll have to move this as well. Okay. Yeah, so that's actually not irrigated land right there, so that's good. Okay. All right, let's try this out. So, Tef, you can squeeze in maybe right here. Seeing as there's a bit of dry terrain right there, and we're next to a warehouse, then you can... I don't want to... Uh, yeah, I think we should use the... Not the silos, but the uh, tractor barn. Why the hell not? If you're there, you can get used and still make use of this area. Okay, let's try this. How much... Sorry, how much was left on that? I thought we had loads more. No, it's actually almost done. Okay. All right, simple as that. Uh, we'll just add another one in, whatever, right around here. Maybe on the inside this time, I guess. And I suppose closer actually over that way is probably better. Hmm. I suppose if you want to make use of the dry terrain, you'd be there. But you can't cross over, so I would say stay here, and then we'll try to move the river. But yeah, it needed space on that side, so I guess, I don't know, not really much more I could do about it. I'm sure there's something I could do. Let's just, for the sake of getting it done, just pad it out now. Holy crap, this uses a lot. Jeez. Yeah, I tell you what, you can just fill this whole thing now. And then we'll just cut away bits here until it makes sense. I can teach you so we'll set 273 this. out of 252. That's 252. We'll just fill this in as well. 251. All right, pop something there. We'll get another one of these. All right, they're filled in, and now this can work its whole way around if it can. Oh no, I just realized it doesn't actually connect around. Damn it. I would need it to do that for this to properly work. I guess. <laughs> 146 out of, yeah. Okay, you know what, get rid of this then. 168 you can utilize. There's no storehouse. Oh, we'll give you a storehouse. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's 155 out of 168. That's enough for it to not have a, an icon about being short. And I'll, I'll probably just leave it like that, which I know might bother some people. And then we can fit another farm in here and make use of that space. I'll try to do that super, super quick. Uh, so let's just grab one of these. Say, so there you go. And grab another one of these. And again, you could be out on this side, right? If you wanted to. That way you just have full reign of making use of this area. Something like that. And then there you go. Make use of all of all of it if you can. Okay, good. So that's 254 out of 252. So we'll just cut a bit away, just so I know. Alright, there we go. So that's a lot more teff in the world. Uh, let's just check what the hell just happened. What the hell was that? That was freaky. Still don't think it's nearly enough. It seems like we're gonna need a lot more. I wonder, can he pull it in through Docklands? And how do you not have? Oh, I didn't see this. They don't actually have everything they need. So you got everything for your fields, but you're missing access to the road. And yeah, 
damn it. Okay. So you would have access if I brought you all the way in here. Oh, this is another one of these end of episode rush jobs that's just totally not optimal or practical at all. I'll have to finish this myself at some point. Yeah, I might have to just redo that area. Bit of a mess. Bit of a mess. Shouldn't shouldn't be rushing these things just at the end, just because I see my little time we're reaching one hour, and I'm like, oh, it's getting a bit long now. Some things only several Irenia can do. All right, so yeah, I'll have to fix that up. But once they get their um, yeah, their fuel, which they're getting now, we can kind of see the true amount that we're getting in terms of tef grass, and we can have a look at the global rates and see what we can do to get a bit more. I have a weird feeling you can get it through Docklands. Not that we need to. But I'd be kind of tempted to, just because it's like, well, you save a lot, actually. Let's just see. Is it there? The farms don't have it there, so I don't think so, actually. Uh, okay. Yeah, not a big deal. There's lots of land to exploit out that way. I'm just surprised we're not getting that much. Uh, okay. Well, I guess that's a problem for the next episode. So maybe I'll sort this out, maybe properly irrigate this land, utilize this river slot as well. We've got loads of workforce. No point getting really weird with it over there unnecessarily. In fact, we should probably just keep that as linseed and do this area out properly instead of, uh, like I said, trying to rush it. I thought maybe just slamming them down would get us the number we wanted. Um, so just as a quick recap here at the end, these guys are all okay. They're happy, super happy, loving life. Let's go check our New World residents now and see if the artistas have what they need. Oh, you're killing me. Where's the lanterns, man? This guy's got him. I don't know where he is. So it's going to be going along this route. Back to the new world. It could be... Oh, there it is. It's entering right now. Nice. Okay, cool. We don't have too long to wait. It's probably just at the edge. One of these ships coming in here. Oh, yeah, because it's coming from the other side of the map, of course, because it's um, coming from Embesa. Could be time to add a pier here, seeing as we've just watched a few ships struggle. There you go, guys. Can both use it at the same time, no problem. All right, Lanterns, Illuminated Manuscripts. I just want to see it arrive, you know, see the numbers go up. It's what it's all about at the end of the day. And then we gotta sort these guys out. Yeah, work clothes. I don't know what happened there. I thought we already delivered them. Work clothes. You're telling me you're not picking them up in Lusk? There's none in Lusk. No work clothes. Apparently not. <laughs> work clothes is a specialty being delivered to lots of different places that got destroyed. Get rid of that. Yeah, okay, well, we'll sort it out next time. No big deal. I'm sure we make enough, right? Not a big deal. I make it all over the place as well. All right, let's just check this again. So lanterns. All right, our ship is just about to pull in. All right, we have made the delivery. Which means these guys can now get the stuff they need. everyone breaking out the lanterns and the illuminated manuscripts they have their billiard tables here as well love to see it let's just speed up time and get them those final numbers you should have checked before and after actually but 16,500 artistas obreros at 4 500 all is quiet in the Last stadium night, i dreamt of a city built entirely of obsidian shining under a judge or moon City built entirely of obsidian. Anyway, I think that's gotta be it. We have the lanterns, you know. We have the billiard tables, they have their souvenirs even. And then if we just check lastly, the obreros. They have their illuminated manuscripts. That's the important thing. We're just about to cross 17,000 for artistas and maybe 5,000 for obreros. This number has fallen down a couple thousand though, in other places. But we could actually hit that 234 number soon. 
So we're pretty close to it. All right, I think that's going to have to be it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. We're really getting through it now. Very, very close to the end. Just need to do a couple little optimizations on a few of those rushed jobs of mine. But other than that, I'd say we're basically done with Elders. We're done with Artistas. Uh, we seem to be done with Obreros. So it's going to be Yornaleros, Technicians, which I think are also pretty much done. I guess the actual workers and farmers of the old world we haven't actually looked at either, and then the shepherds in Embesa. Yeah, so about five more classes to go, I guess, and then we're, we're done. Alright, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.